with the Anit A6 currently at $200 and the Anit A8 at almost ridiculously low $156. However, there is a couple of reasons why you should reconsider from buying the cheapest one. When using the interface to change settings, the A6 uses a knob while the A8 has push buttons. I found the knob to be quicker and easier to use as it's very smooth. The five push buttons can be very annoying as you have to click multiple times for it to toggle. However, this is just a minor thing as you won't be using it too much. The structure is quite different. The A6 arrives with pre-built C-axis rails, but the A8 comes with 3D printed ones, which means you can print new rails if needed. Both printer uses direct drive extruders, and on the A8 the extruder is mounted vertically, while on the A6 it's mounted in parallel with the X-axis rods, and is considered to be a more stable design. It also came with more pre-built parts than the Anit A8, making the assembly slightly quicker. The A6 also comes with half a kilo of random colored PLA filament. Speaking of filaments, both printers are capable of printing with almost all filaments that does require some modifications. When printing with flexible materials, the filament has a tendency to flex inside the extruder causing it to jam. However, by lowering the printing speed it can be done. ABS can be even more difficult because the heated bed can't reach the higher temperature without any insulation such as the enclosure. I use PLA because it can be printed at a lower temperature, it's non-toxic and very strong. According to this specification page, the A6 has an updated motherboard. That closer inspection you can clearly see that both printers use the same motherboard with the same IC, also called the version 1.0 and its motherboard. This was also confirmed by Gearbest support staff. And once again looking at the comparison table, the Anit A6 is using an upgraded heated bed, but once again they are exactly the same. Both printers are however able to be modified with automatic leveling. I will leave a link to a tutorial down below if you would like to do so. It was also stated that the A6 could print with a 0.4mm layer thickness. This is true, but it also works with the Anit A8. Once again proving that the two printers are very much alike. There is however one major difference between these two great printers. The Anit A8 is far more popular making the community absolutely amazing. You can find endless amount of upgrades and useful prints on Thingiverse, there is a Facebook page and just overall more information about the printer. No matter which one you pick you will have a great 3D printer. Comparing structure, price and all these factors. I think it's safe to say that the Anit A8 is superior over the Anit A6. 